Stafford! Stafford! Stafford, it's your mama! Talk to me! Are you okay? Are you alright? What happened? What, what'd you hear? It, it sounded like he was in an accident or something. Where is he? He's someplace in Florida. And then the line went dead. This is Elizabeth Weber from General Hospital. There's been an accident. His name is Stanford Johnson. His mother is a co-worker of mine. She was on the phone with him when it happened. Yes, she is. Epiphany, it's the 911 dispatcher who wants to talk to you. Hello. This is uh, Epiphany Johnson, Stanford's mother. Yes, all he told me was that he's in Florida on business. No, I, I don't even know what part of the state. It's me. I need your help. He was on the way home and for me not to worry. And, and then I heard tires screech. Stay on the Stay. Oh, thank God. How did you manage to do it? Elizabeth called and told us what happened. I, I was able to track the GPS unit in his rental car. He, he crashed in a remote stretch of highway in central Florida. I called 911 police and rescue workers are on their way. We have no way of knowing how bad the car was wrecked or how badly Stan was injured. Sorry, there's just nothing else we can tell you at this point. You can tell me what he was doing in Florida in the first place. I, I don't know. Well, you won't tell me. Because it was business. If my son got hurt doing something for you... No, no, no. Stan doesn't work for me anymore. He quit back in September. Then what's, what's he been doing all this time? Who has he been working for? 10th floor. Yes, she is. Epiphany, it's the Florida State Police. This is a, this is Stanford Johnson's mother. How's my boy? Did you, did you find him? Is he, is he, is he? No. There must, there must be some kind of mistake. No. Hold it, mother. I've got it. He's got to go. I don't want to hurt you, so just stay quiet. Okay. okay. I want you to stay quiet. Okay, okay. Let's go. 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 Okay. Police officers. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back Science back off. officers. Back off. Don't make him shoot okay. me. Just back away. Okay. I don't want to hurt her. Okay. I'm warning you. Back away. Okay. Let her go. Okay. Great job, they bought it. Thank you. Of course they did. Now, you practically cracked my rib with that gun. So just so you know, on the way out of here, ease up on that gun, or I'll turn around and slap you in the head. You ready? One day soon, we're going to sit down and discuss my son's future away from your organization. Please help me. I'm not ready to die. Oh, no. Okay. Stay sharp, Morgan's coming. Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Ah! Oh, oh, I can't breathe! <sighs> oh, you better sit down before you fall down. Okay. I didn't sleep all last night and I, I, I didn't eat today, so I'm just, you know. If you want to keep your pregnancy a secret, it's fine by me. You probably need one person whose face you don't have to lie to. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm pregnant. And my life is... Uh, it's basically a mess right now. But you can't afford to be. You have a son to consider and another something on the way. Your husband's just going to have to get his stuff together, step up, and be a father. If he is the father... I need to have the paternity class in hand before I decide what to do. Lucky has... He's addicted to pain pills. I know. I see things. He's also been unfaithful to me, and I've already filed for divorce. And the other potential father would... Be a really great dad, and he loved this baby, but I'm just not sure how much involvement he should have in this kid's life. Oh, damn that man. 
I was afraid it would come to this. The way he is always on you. Wait, well, what, what are you talking about? You've lost me. Patrick Drake. That man is about nothing but his own <sighs> gratification. Why does everybody assume that I've been with Patrick? You haven't? No. Then who? You see these two lips? If I were to open them up about half of what goes on around here, I could blackmail myself into being a very rich woman. You need someone to talk to. Who's the other maybe daddy? Jason Morgan. Oh, wow. Tell me about it. In a memory that's locked inside a heart, you will always live on, live on, live on like a man. Charming after all. Back at you. Milo, <clears throat> what a surprise. Uh, do you need a bandage or a vaccine? No, not tonight. But thank you. No problem. Actually, the reason I'm here is I was just wondering if. Maybe sometime you'd like to go out with me. Do, 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 do you mean like on a on a date? Oh yeah. Sorry, I, I know it's crazy to ask you. It's probably a terrible idea. Good day. It's not. Uh, um, what? It's 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 not a bad idea. I uh I could find some time. Okay, great. Uh, do you think you could could find some time sometime soon? I, I could I could make some time. Quicksand, doesn't it? Pain so deep it sucks you right in. But you're gonna fight your way out. I can't. Yeah.
Yes, you can. You can't fall apart right now. Not now. Not when you've got that beautiful little girl at home. That's the one. She doesn't know. How do I? Tell? You just do it. You'll find the strength. Because Emma's going to need you right now. She's going to need you to look up to, to hold her hand, to make her laugh. You want me to tell her jokes? Yes, and I want you to sing and dance and wear silly hats when you play dress up. <laughs> Do whatever it takes to keep her going because that is what's gonna keep you going too. Breathe, Piffy. With, them, with Robin Goddick, I can't even get air. Patrick, you're a good man. With a lot of good left to do in this world. You can't let anything stop you. Not even this. Any of that sinking in, Doctor? Oh, yes. Good. Piffy. Thank you. You do as I say, Drake Jr. And we'll never speak of this again. stay and hold my hand. I'm sure you have better things to do. This is where I'm supposed to be right now. You think I haven't been where you are? Forced to give parents bad news? I know when they can take it and when they can't. And never in a million years did I think I'd be saying this to you, Dr. Westbourne. But you did right by Brando and Sasha. You have nothing to regret.
Tiffany, is Robin in yet? Yes. And she's having one big, beautiful day, too. She's, she, she said that? Can you tell her um, that I need her for a consult on the Andrews case as soon as possible? So, I... Yes, was... Patrick checked in. Yes, he asked about you twice. And yes, it's a wonderful, beautiful day. And you're both just thrilled. And you're not fooling anybody. Whatever you're implying. If you're implying there's romance going on in the workplace, you're wrong. Whatever your imagination is conjuring <laughs> up right now. That doesn't take much imagination. Okay, fine. But you should know that Patrick and I are both adults. We're not going to sneak off and make out during Code Blue or throw things at each other in the OR because we're in a fight. We know what to expect and what not to expect from each other. We both understand the uh, rewards and the limitations of this kind of relationship. Satisfied? If you break that boy's heart, I'll break your neck. Dr. Scorpio, do you have time for a quick consult? Sure, uh, where's the chart? I don't know, I, I must have left it somewhere. Would you like me to help you find it? That'd be very considerate of you. In here. Good. Thank you for coming. Did I have a choice? One minute I'm being informed that you have checked out a GH against doctor orders. Next minute you're calling me telling me that your associate is waiting for me downstairs to drive me here. Where am I anyway and what the hell is going on? One of your patients needs your help. stable. Blood loss wasn't severe. He's a very lucky man. The bullet went clean through. Thank you. So, uh, are you going to be reporting a, a gunshot victim to the police? Now, how am I supposed to report the shooting of a dead man? Right. And uh, I'm guessing Taggart faking his death was to protect him and his family from Cyrus. How am I supposed to know? Uh, because they never could have pulled it off without your help. And I saw how kind you were to Trina that night in the ER, and I know that must have been difficult for you. Knowing that she was grieving a father that wasn't dead, but I also know that you would never support something like that if there wasn't a greater good. You've come to me from time to time, over the years, like you did tonight, requesting my help. No questions asked. And I'm very grateful for everything that you've done. My point is that you and Sonny aren't the only one with secrets. I respect yours. You need to respect mine. What I knew, what I did, why I did it, that's my business, not yours. Understood. I give you a lot of leeway, Mr. Morgan. Mostly because I know that if I should ever need you, you'll be right there. No questions asked. Is your driver waiting? It's right outside. Good. Now, well, to close this wonderful evening, I would like to welcome back the General Hospital nurses and also a very, very special guest. Now, I heard there was a secret call that David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift A baffled king composing, hallelujah, hallelujah
sorry I can't be there with you tonight. I was lovingly convinced by my family to sit this one out because I am expecting my second child. I guess that's a symbol of how far we've come, right? Over 20 years ago, I was diagnosed with HIV. I didn't think that I would be able to have one child, let alone two. I didn't even think that I would be alive today. But here I am, thanks to research and dedication and the generosity of people like you. It's true, there is no cure for HIV and AIDS, but I am living proof that it's a fight that we can win someday really soon. It wasn't much I couldn't feel so I tried to